Okay, so now we have uh, St. Thomas More versus Burn Creek 8. Yeah. Alright, so Burn Creek 8, they are probably one of the strongest teams in the entire league, based on what I've seen. Uh, Avery's got a very strong big shooter. There's also Tyler, who goes by Shamrock in tournament. Um, J1, who's... The, Tyler was the Ganon, right? Yeah, Tyler, wait. Tyler's a Ganon. Okay. I don't know if he will play Ganon in this one, though. Also, this is recorded, so it'll be uploaded later. What did I say? Don't speak your Okay. They're just setting up their names and stuff. Um, St. Thomas More, I think, is a dark horse. They have a very good chance at upsetting... Uh, well, it depends. I think Burn Creek A is probably going to get the first seed for their division. And yeah, they better. I don't want to play in the first round. <laughs> and as a result, they will be playing Mick Roberts if they get first seed. So the projection right now is that Burn Creek A will play Mick Roberts after today in playoffs in first round. And whoever gets second today will be playing... Burnett. Yeah, Burnett. Uh, today we have Bill commentating with me for this set. Yo, that's cool, guys. J&B rep. Yo, he's from Burnett. And this is a very important set for him to watch. Okay, all right, so, here we go. So we've got two yellow guys here. All right, nice to see some Asian popularity. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh my God, this this guy's Pac-Man is actually kind of mad. All right, Avery. I think you, I think Avery's not his match. Saint Thomas More. Don't sleep on him. You can't sleep on Pac-Man. Pac-Man, <laughs> when he gets his combo going with his fruit, it, he racks a lot of damage with Hydrant. Yep. And Pichu dying really early. He's gonna die to Hydrant like around 80. All right, good escape from Pichu. I like that. All right. This is great test. Peach is taking jab block. Oh, jab block? Oh my. Alright. You can tell that Avery's very good at this game. <laughs> no, just Peach is really good at this game. Oh. Oh, it's a good forest smash. Alright. Respectable Hydrant up smash. That was a forest smash. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I said up smash. Okay. It's just like spamming up tilt, which is a pretty good option on Pichu, honestly. Uh, from experience, as I played both characters before, this is definitely a Pac Man favor. Because Pichu has to approach a Pac Man who can just like sit around camp. Yeah. And there's no punish for him to approach either as Pac Man. So this okay. is a very difficult. Yep. Pichu needs to get a lot of chain of uh, aerials in order to keep up with Pac Man's momentum. Yep. He almost got the uh, drag down F tilt, which definitely probably would have killed Pac Man. Oh, okay. So. It's nice to see Pac Man main. I don't see those often. Yeah, is it? Okay, but I think. Oh, Pac Man lives. He's a heavy boy. Yeah. Alright. Almost gets the F tilt, but that's gonna hurt a lot. Alright. Oh my god. This guy's like. Alright, they're going kind of even right now. Pichu, I think he's at kill percent now. <laughs> yeah. If he picks out the key, it's a. Uh, well, it's not kill percent with the key, but it comes close. Yeah. Alright. So if he fixes for the key right now, he's going for the bell instead. Not really good against the Pichu, but we'll see. Yep. Alright. Oh, that was weird. Like, he was like doing a thunder jolt and then, oh, okay. Alright, looks like Bathro's gonna kill for Pac-Man as well. Oh, yo! <laughs> Alright, this is actually looking a little bit scary, because Avery is a very strong player. And Gion, like, I remember seeing some uh, Burning Passion, which is a tournament series at Burn Creek. Um, Double Dash, which is Gion. He... I don't know how far he got, but it wasn't as far as Avery. Avery got pretty good in that tournament, but, you know, anything can happen in this game. I mean, both of them are very momentum characters, so usually whoever gets the upper hand has the advantage, and it looks like Pac-Man's starting to run away with this. Yeah, but, like, this right. is stock here. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. Alright, good job. It's, very so it's not a bad situation for Pichu right now. Yeah. Alright. Pichu? Whoa, that was safe. You mean his grab? His grab is anything but safe. No, no, uh, the earlier thing he did where he oh, was the like... Oh, that's a down tilt, yeah, that's a yeah. down tilt. Alright. All his tilts are pretty safe, so... Yeah, Pac-Man, just like, a very overwhelming character. Nobody knows anything about Pac-Man, it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Whole new experience. I wanna play this guy. <laughs> Pac-Man is very technical. Very, very technical. <laughs> oh, okay. And he's bad too, so there, there's another factor. Yeah. Alright, I am very scared. I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, Pac-Man gets a back throw, it's over. Oh, oh he got caught by that! What an upset! Alright, so Burn Creek, I think they met their match. 
this might be quite stunning against the projections that I made earlier. But yeah. I may have been sleeping on St. Thomas more a little too hard, but but Vine Creek has a counter fix. So this, if played correctly, they should be back to a nine and nine. Yeah. All right. So Burn Creek, just take that last stock. Don't lose any stocks. That's your main job right now. Mm -hmm. St. Thomas more. Uh, just take off as many stocks as you can. Do that all, like Pac-Man and stuff. I got a lot of like I saw a lot of those seventy kills, mm -hmm. and that's what I like to see. It's very surprising that Avery didn't shield any of it because side B is a very, very laggy move. It's just surprising for that, but oh well. People don't go play against Pac-Man. Yeah. Uh, I think I think if Avery watches, he would know what to do next time. Yeah, when he would use the mod. As long as you improve, that's all that matters. Yeah. Oh, so we're going to Korean names now. Shout out to Koreans in the chat. Ah, uh, there's no chat because this is pre-recorded. <laughs> this will be uploaded later. Unfortunately, SFU Wi-Fi just didn't work out for me. Yeah, so. it sucks. Yeah, well, unfortunate. Also, SFU is like the worst place to park, guys. So if you're ever gonna come to SFU, please bus. Don't ever like drive here. Well, it's a mess. It's not. I don't think it was that bad, but like, it's just a very confusing campus. It, it is. The first time I came here, like this area specifically, because there's like a bunch of like parking lots and this building that we're in. It's confusing. But Second time here, the first time my dad drove me here, he's told me he got lost. I'm like, yeah, yeah, totally. And I come here, I'm like, holy crap, how did my dad maneuver around this? And Shout out to my dad. Well, we have Jaywon from Bird Creek coming up next. Jaywon is, uh, he's recently been getting a lot better since the last time he played in uh, Smash League. The last time I played Jaywon, he played Rosalina against me. Yeah. I'm like, yo, Rosalina in this game? That's actually Poggers. Jaywon doesn't actually really have a main, I think he likes to say. That's what everyone likes to say, but honestly, there's probably one or two characters that he excels more than others. Yeah. You know, if he plays random, I'm gonna be angry. Don't be like Kenji, man. Come on. Like, Ken here's the thing, guys. Kenji's if, random. <laughs> if you're gonna play random, at least have knowledge about 80% of the characters. Like, I play random all the time, and I have, like, knowledge in every character except for, like, Duck Hunt and Sonic. Like, those are the only two characters I just don't want to play. Everything yeah. else I can deal with, you know? I respect random names, honestly. I, I do, but if they're, like, if they can't play, like, certain characters that are, like, easy to play, it kind of, like, hurts me. Yeah. Because you, you, you have to know everything about, like, a lot of characters. I definitely respect that. If I play random, that's like an instant equalizer for people like two tiers below me. Like, let's see this roster here, right? Like, I can't play. Probably the only characters I can't play is Duck Hunt and Sonic. I can play pretty much everyone else to an extent. Yeah. I, actually, no. Me Gunner, I don't. I have no clue how he works. He, he's just weird. Me Gunner is a. I don't know. It's like spam. Spam is pretty good. It's awkward. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's like a weird villager. Is Fair got neutered though? Fair. Like, it just doesn't go as far anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, shout out to those who play me people. Like, me's? Oh my god, those are so hard to play. Respectful. Like, me brawler especially. Yeah, I play Big Chungus on me brawler, <laughs> so fun. You just suplex everyone, you dig their head in the ground, it's really fun. Yeah. Okay, so back to this set. It's gonna go back to point pack, man. This crazy pack, man, like... I don't, I don't think Burn Creek is ready for this for Avery. Especially because this Pac-Man plays a bit unconventionally to the fact that he doesn't he doesn't go for the key. And because the key got buffed from the last game, it's a lot more powerful and has a higher kill potential. See him going for the bell and like the uh, the, the missile launcher shit? It's, um, it's a bit awkward, I'm not gonna lie. I don't expect those that often, so... Yeah. It's good to see two different Pac-Man though. This player, or this character variety, actually surprisingly, I barely see any Olimars within the high school team. <laughs> Even though, like, Olimar is always like, oh, yeah. free Olimar. We do have a person play Olimar to school, he's learning about it, and I'm just telling him, hey, if you play Olimar, I don't have respect for you. But if wait, you're gonna win, I'm, you're gonna get respect back. Oh wait, Jaywon does have a Palutena, doesn't he? Palutena vs Pac-Man, this is a very bad matchup for Pac-Man. Very, very bad. <laughs> yeah, just like, counter everything up. Like, straight up, he juggles you, like, Palutena just juggles Pac-Man insanely. Alright, so they're just going to SD up. Right. Yeah, as a Luigi main, this is by far the worst matchup. Palutena. Palutena is... Like, Again, her is just so good. So there you go, Refi redefining the rules of crew battles. Alright, they decided to start at 30. <laughs> Alright, so 
What does Pac-Man needs to do? Wait, he charge it, whatever. What Pac-Man needs to do in this game is that he needs to hyper be aggressive and try not to use any projectiles. Use your aerials a lot, especially his forward airs and back airs. Oh, well. pressure a lot in the air and back off when she does her aerials. Yeah. But you, you can't cap because her side B I think bleed one shot to the hydrant, so you can't use that to your advantage. The side B is weird though. Although side, for Palatina, yeah, and uh, it's not that bad. Okay. J1 is doing a pretty good job getting his objectives done. Oh. All right. All right. Good. Good. Quick. All right. Just rapid jabs. All right. Carries. Oh, good oh, grab. Awkward. Down. Th oh, no down throw. Okay. Yeah. Because a, a lot of things Palutena have to do on ledge is they do a down throw instead of a forward throw. They make you di in, and they, they just follow up with the true back here. So anyone who plays like against Palutena, when you're in the situation, always di out. Because forward throw doesn't kill until like 250. I'm pretty sure. Okay. This pack man is just like okay. Good dash attack. Just like um knocking away the uh, hydrant so it can't damage. All right, good up here too. Oh, that almost killed. Yikes. Yeah. All right. And, oh, oh, you have to respect that side B. I respect it and not respect it at the same time. You know. Yeah, like like it, it's it's bold, but people aren't doing anything about it, which is a bit strange. Back throw. Yeah. Okay. That last hit on the side B for back man. I can't get used I'm to that. I'm trying to do a oh, forward throw? Okay. Oh. Back throw again. All yeah, right. both have really good back throws. Palutena's a bit stronger, so she's okay. gonna kill earlier. <laughs> oh, alright. It's just things he's like crazy pac man setups. Stop coaching! <laughs> okay, that. Oh, Whoa. that's a. Please do not coach! Alright, J1, he's very tense right now. Yeah, it's a very tense situation. Oh, what a grab. He just needs oh. that final shot. Wait, Whoa, oh, I'll smash oh. on it, yeah. Alright, he's respecting this time. Sorry, sorry, stay calm. Dash. No. Whoa! Very good DI. That was a very good DI. Alright. Oh my god. Okay, he didn't respect that. He didn't respect that. Once again. Alright, that's it. Dash attack? Whoa oh my god! What's right. happening? So it looks like the dash attack got staled to a point where it doesn't kill. Back throw? He needs to go for a throw. A throw is guaranteed kill, I'm pretty sure. Oh my. Whoa, whoa. Hold up! Wait, <laughs> this guy's mad. I'm looking at Smash 4 combos here. Yeah. Alright, he's just gonna. Throw. I'll throw? No, I'll throw is not gonna, not gonna kill. Go. I'm, well, anything kills now. Come on. Nair, forward air, up air, down air, back air. Yeah. Alright, Pac Man. Alright, he's getting nervous. I can feel it. Yeah. He's definitely getting nervous. Doesn't know what to do. Okay, there we go. There, that's it. Wondering why you want to die, but you know what? He dies now. Alright. Ian did a very good job, but apparently it's a very uh very tight race. The lead is only by one stock and Burn Creek can definitely take it back. Ian is from what I've heard, one of the strongest players at St. Thomas Mark, up there with Abe. But they also have another player that I heard is pretty strong, but I I don't know, it's all here. I, I know nothing about Vancouver people. No, this is Burnaby. Bur oh, even better. Yeah, I know nothing about Burnaby either, so Yeah. This guy's from Richmond. Hell yeah, Richmond's the best. Actually, not really. Uh, it's alright. Vancouver's pretty good. Vancouver's Richmond, really good. Richmond teams? I don't know, like... I don't know if they're, like, the strongest in the league, but they definitely have, like... <coughs> ouch. Okay, ouch. <laughs> yeah, ouch is full of signs. Honestly, if he signs up himself and McNeil, like, he's just gonna sweep Richmond District, like, he's straight not. up. But, like, he's only human. Like, if there's people, like, Alpha A, then they might take stocks off and put him down. Yeah, but he can make it close, but, like, yeah. Honestly, even against like us as Burnett, he can make it really close. Yeah, he's a scary player, man. Apparently, he's like a very oppressive player. Really. He just gets in your face, and you can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I played a couple against him. Yeah, he likes to go really hyper aggressive. Yeah, and it's like really hard too because he does everything correctly, spaces everything correctly, so you can't punish. And he plays too characters well. that complement it. Yeah, like Roy. Oh, cause Roy. Or I. Cause Roy hurts me inside. Like crime and stuff like that. I like Krom is like a strong like, Yeah, Krom like, is well. everything. Wolf, especially, yeah, he plays Wolf as well. Yeah. But, in uh, any case, St. Thomas More versus Mercury. Uh, who's player. their next player? Actually, yeah. Uh, who's their next player? Jeepers. Jeepers as Uh, what's their name? Oh, Christian. Oh. Alright, we got our, mind, our man Christian. Christian C from St. Thomas More. Yep. Alright, let's we'll see how he does. See, I remember Christian from the Overwatch League. That St. Thomas More one. Overwatch is dead. 
Well, it was alive enough with two run a league back when we yeah, had Yeah, but now, hey guys, if you play Overwatch, well, play Goats all day, it's so boring. <laughs> I mean, if you want to do an Overwatch league, as like, long as it meets the minimum threshold. Like, like, like I love playing Overwatch, but I hate playing ranks because they're playing Goats like every day, and I'm like, it's so brain dead. Every single league that we run that goes on like a round robin to playoffs format mm -hmm. requires at least four teams in order to run. You have four, four schools. Because like, what if you have one school with three teams? <laughs> that, that's just like free. They'll be team killing each other. All right, let's see what the pick is here. So, so Christian gets to pick a stage here against Palutena. The great camp offensive seems really good. You know, you can just tongue time him out for 99 minutes. <laughs> Down to City, actually a really interesting pick, but Palutena excels very well on this stage. Yeah. Let's, right. see, but let's see what he picks. I'm not too sure. Right, it's a Falco, yes. Falco does very well in Town City. You know, Adrian Pui from Burnett plays Falco all the time. Uh, and he, he always counterpicks me, so I always ban that stage against him. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a very good stage for Falco. Very, very good stage. Alright. This is going to be very interesting. I've never seen Christian play before. Now, Falco is a very, very. Don't coach! Falco is a very, once again, momentum based character. Alright. Because his, his recovery is really bad, and I think the down air just finishes it regardless. Alright, I guess this nears out. Falco loves grabs too, so watch out for that if he does throw a lot of grabs. Yeah, like, it's surprisingly like. Oh, okay. Dash dancing. It's playing neutral. Up here, up there. Yep, there we go. Down air, up tilt. Yep. Right. Everything that Adrian does. Okay, that was. <laughs> Alright, kisses was the Palutena's wings, you know, I respect that. Yeah, it just like hits it wrong. You know, Palutena's really hot, it's alright. Wait, wait. <laughs> it's alright. Right. You're not wrong, but. <laughs> She's goddess, bro, come on. I, yeah, like, it's like, out of character. Like, look at Zelda. Zelda's like a princess, you know, it's like, okay, you know, Zelda's a like, astronaut. <laughs> Wait a second. Like, okay, so Lucina's like a warrior, like cool, but she's a goddess, bro. She, she controls everything. All right, so good grab. That was, yeah. that was a good like dash. Okay, going for it. Go cheese. Go back here. I don't know if I'll smash can like two frame. I think it can actually. I've seen. Like, I know pretty... down tilt two frames for Palutena, but I'm not too sure up smash actually does. I've seen some pretty jank stuff from Palutena. Oh, okay, dash attack kill. Very solid start from Palutena. Yep. It's very interesting to the fact that <laughs> these nerves. Uh, welcome to the Nair train. Next stop, Fair City. You know, I honestly ship Ike and Palutena. Yeah. I like the, the prom queens and kings of oh, Nair. <laughs> Nair, yeah. Alright. I mean, Luigi's not far too behind. Luigi's Nair is insanely strong. But yeah, Ike, undefeated champion. Yeah. No, but like, Palutena, your Nair is <laughs> a strong contest. It's powerful. But that's not yeah. her best aerial. That's the scariest thing. Her best aerial is her back here. Back is insane. Yeah, but in terms of like putting pressure on. Oh, okay. No, nope. like shoot putting, it up. Like putting pressure on up there. No, I mean uh, near. It's just like it gets in their face. It lasts super long. And it's very good off stage too. It kills off stage. Same well. Yeah. Right. With, with the teleport recovery, she can go really low for that. So she. Oh. No upbeat. Unlucky, unlucky. You know what? Bounce back. Come on, Falco. Yeah. Show us what you got. All right, that was an insane side beat. J1's getting those combos out. Nair. Dash attack. Alright. It's very interesting that I don't see much up airs, because Falco's very easy to be juggled, as I've learned from playing Adrian. Yeah. Although, up airs like a normal kill, right? There like you that. go. See? That's it. Low, low stealing as well. Alright, so Christian just got three stock with J1. No, two stock. J1's no. Oh, two stock? Actually, no, three stock. Yeah, 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 yeah. three stock. So, uh, Falco sucks? Sorry. Right. <laughs> well, I guess. I guess I thought that this would be like a good matchup, but I don't know. It seemed pretty one-sided to me. So good job to J1. Alright, 
So we have Clarence, aka Altre, uh, going up for St. Thomas More. So St. Thomas More, they have two players left, and for Crew Gate, they have J1. And they also have uh, Tyler. Tyler is a very strong player as well. I've played it, I've seen him play it before, and his Ganon is pretty, pretty solid. Yeah. He was very solid. At Heroes vs. Villains of MBSSCA. He, he did pretty good. Like, he, he, plays a, he plays a lot of Smash, I know that. Yeah, like, take his sets off of. Um, curve, uh, taking sets off of Seraphie during that. Uh, I know he's taking sets off of Set 7. Yeah, he's a very strong force in the high school scene. And oh, sure. let's go. It's a Bowser. Bowser. Alright. All right. Bowser is like <laughs> really, really powerful. Yeah. Very powerful. <laughs> I recently picked up Bowser. He's like fair. It's so dumb. Yeah. Coming from me, I, I was a Bowser main in Smash 4. And in the beginning, I played a lot of Bowser. But then I dropped it because. I just, this didn't feel right for me. Like, I didn't play him to his fullest okay. potential. So let's Never see what started. happens. Yep. Alright. Just fire. Alright. Alright, up to... Alright, so he's, playing, he's moving very well. Bowser, when you move a lot, it's very hard to predict where he's gonna do. And I like this a lot from him. Yeah. St. Thomas More, I don't think they really know what to do with him. But Bowser's an interesting character. Very yeah. interesting character. He's, like, really fast. But his grab game from Smash 4 is just non-existent now. His, yeah, his grab game sucks, but he has a lot of kill throws, so that's very, very good. Yeah. Back throw, four throw, insanely well. Reads the roll, very nice. Uh, okay, good job from J1. He's putting a lot of Palutena pressure oh, on. Nice forward tilt. Alright. Cook some curry, alright. <laughs> some goddess curry, you know. Yeah, it's hot and spicy. Alright. He's keeping Palutena off the ground, but Palutena's back, baby. Oh, oh. down or fourth throw? Yeah, fourth. Fourth throw is a very interesting move for Palutena because it doesn't do anything. It's a lot better, like I said, to do a down throw into a back air. Wait, that kill? No, it doesn't. No. Do. Bowser's a big boy. Yeah, big boy Bowser. I would've been pretty angry if that jab killed. And that's oh, that... death. Oh no, missed Wait. top platform. Yeah, you yeah, got the top platform, that was guaranteed kill. Yeah. Bowser's side B is just like <laughs> very good kill option. Yep. So side B is also a very good move because it's a command grab, so you can do it yeah. on shield. Oh, okay. wait for it again. I felt it's gonna hurt and. Uh, Burn Creek A, they're just increasing that stock gap up to three stocks. Alright. Oh, and that should be it. That's gonna be it. Okay, Palatine just got slammed by Bowser. Big boy, Peach is nowhere near to be seen. <laughs> yep. Moved on from Peach to Palatine. Okay, good pressure for Jab. Okay, but like, as you may not know this, Bowser, he's very good against Rapid Jab. This big boy, he can SDI really easily. No, you know, like, he just, you can just like shield it or like just keep buffering a bunch of random like strong moves or like side. I mean, to be fair, Polytina's jab's not that good. No. It's a very good pressure move. Like yeah. you got, but it's like not as strong as two, so I'm not too surprised there. Yeah, but regardless, like a lot of jabs just like Bowser just tanks through. You know, up smash. Oh boy, oh that's scary. All right, don't get grabbed, don't get grabbed. Oh, wait, <laughs> smell my feet, he says. Okay, good there. Keep, oh, there we go. That's there gone. lasts so long, and it's safe too. Right. Yeah. Up attack, up smash. Yep, there it is. Parry, up okay, tilt. Parry, up tilt. Not quite yet. Next one should probably kill. He's fishing for it. He's fishing for it. Yep. All right, Jay wants just keeping his like. Yeah. He's keeping the momentum on him. Perfect. Oh, try to read the rule. Didn't, didn't work out. Sorry. Right. Up smash again. All right. All right. They're fishing. They're fishing. All right. That's gonna hurt. Right, he's trying to get away from J1. He's he needs like, a grab with side B. And he, both should be good to kill. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Wait, no, oh, that's not it. Very good, yeah. Alright, is he gonna. Nah, Never mind. Very nice back here. Alright, next time, I think you should. Don't be afraid to recover high with Bowser. Because, like, not a lot of people expect that. In the meta, where a lot of people recover low. And especially as the style that J1 plays, he doesn't like going off stage often. So it's, it should be, like, a guaranteed kill. If you go. Wait! Oh! Hey, that's gross! I don't like that! Oh my! See, I just got a flashback when I got spiked as Palutena like that. Oh my! Alright. Well, it looks like the projection is back. Mercury Cave looking very dumb. Oh yeah, this is a pretty strong showing. Yeah, I mean, he only took one stock off. j ones on his third match of the game. This is scary. Looks like only two people from Byron get to play today, huh?
Chase Thomas Moore. They're on their last limbs, but they need a clutch, man. This hey, is one of their strongest. I've seen people take eight stocks today. I saw someone take twelve, so it's very doable. Yeah, but like Mercury, K, the skill difference. I think it's pretty even, Jaywon like versus Abe. But hey, man, anything can happen. This is cool. Yeah. Well, like Tyler is up next, and either Aries or. Uh, Miguel, they're also pretty good players, but I don't know if they're on the same level as the Yeah, three. I don't know anything about those two, unfortunately. Yeah. Alright, so from what I know, I know Abe is a uh, Pokemon, Pokemon trainer. trainer. Yes, I think I've seen him play against people before. Very yeah. solid Pokemon trainer, very solid. Yeah, he knows how to do all the combos, like all the Ice Sword, Vine Whip kills. Uh, and his general knowledge for all three of the Pokemon is very high, so it's good to see that he's not concentrated on one style, but multiple. Yeah. So I'm very excited to see the Pokemon Trainer in action. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see it too. Also, please bring back Charizard, yeah. Uh, make Charizard useful. Yeah. yeah, come on, man. When I play Pokemon Trainer, I only go Charizard only. Dude, bring back Charizard. I only play Charizard. Because I only know how to play Charizard. Nobody want to learn any of the other ones. But Charizard's cool, man. Charizard's amazing. I can, like, kind of play Ivysaur, but I can't play Squirtle. I don't want to play Squirtle. Squirtle just... Ivysaur seems lame. I just, like, it's gigantic up there, so down here. Yeah, I don't know, it seems like a very linear character. Yeah. Well, it goes Razor Leaves to grab setups, they're pretty Charizard good. Charizard is by far the most exciting character to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Pro Controllers. Remember to disconnect them, friends. Ah, yeah, guys, please. It's annoying. <laughs> okay. St. Thomas Moore, you had a strong lead. Dion, good job. I think Dion might be an MVP unless Abe just, like, outshines. Mercury kick. This is gonna be a tough task. First, he has to, he has to make sure he doesn't lose a single stock to J1 and he eliminates him. Then he has to take off like all three stocks from either Tyler or um, either Miguel or Aries. But it's, I don't know if Tyler's gonna go Ganondorf. That's a very hard matchup as uh, Ganondorf against Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, like Ganondorf is also really good in Cruise. Scans are scary, man. <laughs> yeah, you just like swing his club. It's like Doria. Yeah, but you just like lose a stock for your team. And like he, he could be at like 200 percent, you'd be at zero, and you're still scared. Yeah, you're uh, both of you to be in kill percent, right? Oh, they're going Lila. Lila, my favorite stage. Hey guys, whoever hates on Lila, come on, man. Think about it. America has like Castle Siege. <laughs> Some people have WarioWare. You got like Yoshi's Island Brawl. Like, no, come on. This is like not even that bad. Yeah, like, you have like people want to know, man. It's just like. Okay, J1. Putting okay. on that Tower's gain of pressure. So, saying, starting with Squirtle. I like it. Squirtle's very good with early uh, percent combos. But looks like he's getting early percent combo right now. Okay, good side B. And he's a very light character, so it's very scary if you're high percent score. Oh, good counter. Very good counter. Yeah. So it's just to Ivy Sword so he doesn't die at like 20. Okay. Good grab. He's probably gonna get like an Ivy Sword combo. Okay, race really. Oh, <laughs> right. we got a screenshot. Let's go. Moment okay. captured. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, he's hot. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Good job from Ivy Sword right now. I think like up there is Oh, you can yeah. angle that? Wow, yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I did not know that. I forgot. Well, actually, it might be random. Or... It doesn't seem like it might. Yeah, might be, yeah, might be the slope. Yeah, that might be it. Right. Just might be the Lila at slope. Alright, Charizard, he's gonna go for it. Let's grab? Maybe? Oh, well, down smash. Alright, he's just waiting for the invulnerability. I think a grab would. Or a grab up smash? Oh, oh, very good. Very good out of shield. Very good option. Just takes out J1. Up be very powerful with Charizard. Kills very early. Yeah. Avi's one of the strongest players at St. Thomas More, but this is a very tough task for him. He's been playing a lot recently. He's been getting strong results. He's been going to like burning passion. All right, we got Miguel. Miguel from Burn Creek. This is not what I expected, but you know, they just like they want to keep the trump card for last. Yeah, I think or, they just want to have as much like player exposure, or like at least maybe he's like has a character that is really good against Pokemon Trainer. But I don't know what characters are good. Because he seems like a very well balanced character. Yeah. So I'm, not, I'm very surprised to see, okay, to see what he's gonna play. I think he's gonna play Inkling based on what it seems like. What's he gonna play? I feel like it's gonna be Inkling. Oh, Inkling! Yeah. Oh, man, I hate Inkling. Me too. Inkling's so. Mo <laughs> he gets in your face. The ink gets on your face. Uh, it's, it's like. It's hard. <laughs> like, I played. For those who don't know, Marcus Lee is one of the best uh, Inklings in BC. 
Man, every time I play against him, I just, I get him, I combo him like to 50, and he just jabs me at 50 as well. I'm like, what the heck is this character, man? Looking like Luigi Nerd. Oh yeah, Luigi sucks, guys. Yeah, if you guys consider me Luigi, he sucks. The only person in the game who has a tether that can't grab ledge. Absolute trash. But if you can play Luigi pretty well, then I, I got props for you. If you can play any character well. Yeah, even Pichu. Even like Smash 4 Bayonetta. God knows <laughs> oh yeah, those who play Bayonetta in this game, shout out to character dedication, man. Yeah. But I'd probably die if I played Bayonetta, and even, even Smash 4. Bayonetta is a very fun character to play, to watch at least, in Smash Ultimate, so that's a good change. Yeah. Okay, so. So this is gonna be the Inkling, yes, the Inkling versus the Pekimon Trainer. Yep. As you may know, Inkling is canonically weak to water. <laughs> But hey, this is uh, Pokemon Trainer's home field advantage. Let's see how this goes. Alright, so far pretty good for Inkling. Gets a bomb out. Alright, no ink on him yet. Alright, just like doing these empty hops. Alright, here we go, here we go. Right, bread and butter, oh, Squirtle combo. Here we go, you're all purple now. You're poison type. <laughs> this is uh, Greninja's ability, right? <laughs> Fishing for these aerials. Alright, here we go, makes a poison type again. Alright, he's, he's down to Squirtle. Squirtle's not working. Oh, that was Ivysaur. I think I Venusaur is... No, this is Ivysaur. Yeah, but Venusaur, is, I think, is Poison-type. If I pull my knowledge is correct, they're all Poison-type. Well, except for Bulbasaur. No, no, and Bulbasaur and v Ivysaur, I'm pretty sure, are not Poison. No, Ivysaur is also Poison. Actually, I don't no, know. No, I don't think Ivysaur is Poison. Actually, I think all of them are Poison. But no, 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 no. I know that for sure. No, I'm pretty sure. You want that? Actually, not right now. But we'll check it after the game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So... Up B? Is that, that's not yeah. kill, but it's a... Uh, it's just 100%. Yeah. And it's PS2. High Blast Zones. Alright. Uh, smash, not yet. Multi-hit Sulk. Well... Down Smash. Down Smash is good. Alright. Alright. This looks like... Alright, good oh, double good jump. Parry. Good parry! Good parry! Alright. Alright. Miguel looking stronger than I thought, actually. Yeet! Said Squirtle. Go for a downer? Oh. Alright, he went for it. He went for it, yep. Good try, though. Alright. Oh, there you go. That should be it. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna be it. Let's see if this switches to Charizard right now. Yep, there he is. Yep, still a three stock. Looks like he's gonna go yeah. back to Squirtle by the looks of it. Yep, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Makes it caught in the ink, Poison type again. I just like it. Alright. That ink is uh, very annoying. Oh, looks like we got a different skin change. Looks like he switched skins midway to the purple one. I like right. it. Squirtle's 50%, uh, so we're gonna see what to do. Right, yeah, there you go, there's the Ivysaur. Very right. right. good spacing with the side B, I like it. But Inkling does, doesn't need to be very phased at all. Alright. Up B? Yep. There you go. Isn't Up B stronger? Like, Up B yeah. has some really weird hitboxes, man. I play yeah. Kirby against Pokemon, I die at 60 to that. It's really weird. Yeah, it's just like, at the tip, boom, you're dead. It's weird, man. Yeah. Alright. Good job from Inkling. I don't think we've seen a single Inkling this whole week. Oh, very oh, bad. Oh, they're very odd choice. But odd punish as well. But yeah. it's alright. Oh, did it not yet? Catches him with the up smash. Let's see if this switches to Charizard. It's a very scary time for Ivysaur to be alive. Alright, that downer was <laughs> looking pretty uh, sketchy. Yeah. The thing is, I think uh, Inkling's DIing very well to that. Oh, gets him with it. Alright, good job, Abe. Abe, you need to keep this up. Let's see if it goes back to Squirtle. Or he's my stay Charizard because he's a bit high. Alright. Yeah. Okay, oh, that there was it goes. Very. Oh, no punish. Oh, that's what you call spaghetti. All right, dash attack. Oh, this is this is scary. Oh, this is scary. Raid Charizard. Oh no. All right. I don't like it. I don't like it. Right. Oh wait, that, that that's just ugly. That's okay. Be it. All right. One stock left for Raid. Burn Creek maintaining the three stock. Seems like Miguel's done his job already. Got him down to at least one stock. If he win this, shots out shout out to him. Yeah. Miguel, you're actually pretty fire, man. But you're putting a lot of uh, inkling pressure on, just like spamming on these back here, so it's super safe. Yeah. Alright. Bomb. So you're just playing neutral right now. Uh, I'll, oh, fourth throw, okay. Yeah, get that ink on, you know. Very good bomb placement. Alright, Abe looks a little more lost than I thought he would be. Okay, good turn around up tilt. Up here. Uh oh, this is scary. This is scary for Inkling. And the Ivysaur too. Oh! Oh, yeah, oh like, almost stepped into it. Almost stepped into it. He ran into the up, like, the up smash. Oh, just oh extend, my like, gosh. Oh, this is so scary. Oh. Yo, hold Yo. my hand, hold my hand. 
You know what? I, you know, I'm, I'm metaphorically holding your hand right now. Yeah. Right, you... <laughs> Hold your hands in the mind. Oh, I got some bell smash. All right. <laughs> Abe has to take down three stocks. But luckily for him, his percent is percent. But very solid uh, inkling, by the way. Very solid. I like... That was very good. Good job. All right. Let's, let's see who their last player is going to be. And to no surprise, Tyler. Tyler from Barn Creek up to face the final match of the set. Yeah. All right. Abe and Tyler. I think Tyler is a little stronger than Abe. People, I think people underestimate Tyler. Yeah, they no. see Ganon and like, eh, nah, probably not good. Ganon's pretty good in this game. But the way I see Tyler play Ganon, it's very scary. It's not that the ones you see online. Like he takes dedication to his character. Yeah, like, it's always fun to watch him play Ganondorf. Like when he runs off and just like up airs you or nears you, and you die. It's scary. Yeah. And as a Luigi man, if I'm off stage, I'm like, oh, it's over. It's yeah. actually over. I can't get off of that. Which no. is like Smash Four air dodging isn't a thing anymore. Yeah. Like, can't wait to see what this guy can pull across. Okay. Hey, who knows? Maybe St. Thomas can clutch this out. I've seen three stocks before. Wait, this is BR. Looks like we're getting right. some smacks thrown around. He's calling it out. He's gonna, he's gonna be like, I'm gonna end this man's whole career right now. <laughs> taunt to get bodied, huh? Yo. This is a taunt, but I don't know about Yo, if St. Thomas clutches this, I'm gonna think, cry. I think we're gonna mute the mic because it's gonna be hella loud in here. <laughs> it's gonna be loud. I think the mic will do the mute. Go like you ever watch the vods in the replay like compilations? And, yeah, <laughs> and then everyone's screaming and the mic just like dies. Yep. Let's see what the pick is. I would like to see Smashville. Yeah, it looks like Smashville. Gan is very well on this. That's very well on the stage. Yeah, this looks like it's Smashville. Oh, they're looking for that Tom Nook. Tom Nook. <laughs> Surprising that they didn't ban Smashville. Oh no, please don't. Oh please no. Oh, here it is, here it is. Uh oh. He's going for the ATJ killer. Oh no. He's going wolf. This might be weird. This is not an easy matchup for wolf. This is definitely not. But all he needs to take is one stock, so let's see how he, if he can pull this off. Or will St. Thomas Moore clutch out and take sole control of first place at the moment? Going for his trusty buddy score. That's an Abe staple. Alright, here we go. Alright, this is test. Abe, I kinda want you to win. Because I love upsets. <laughs> yeah. Upsets are always like hype. But like Tyler, he's he has a good wolf. I've seen it before. I've never seen his wolf. I always see his Ganon. So this will be new to me. Oh, okay, side B. It's like raw, straight up. No, I don't know. Oh, no, this is no good. You need to switch to Ivy Star soon. Alright. Oh, very good option. Wow. Just I did not expect that. Good get off me. Good side B. There we go. That's Ivysaur. Alright, they're looking like pretty even, so that's not a good sign. Yeah, this, this is not good for Ivysaur right now. Alright. Down smash? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, it's long. Goes for the down throw. Interesting. Okay. Alright. I like it. Oh! oh. Yo, okay. Snoit! Just two more to go. Dorito sponsor. Let's go. Two more to go for a. Wait, uh, what? That's a down smash. Oh, How that happen? Was he like trying to get up? And then, like, Nerf Wolf! <laughs> was he trying to Nerf get up? Wolf! And then he just used down smash and it's like. Either when his ledge invincibility went off, like it, it expired, or he just dropped down from ledge. Uh, so, very unlucky, but well done to uh, Byron Creek for pulling through. But very good job to uh, St. Thomas More, regardless, for yeah, taking very, on. Very so strong effort shown today. Yeah, Gion, good job. Alright, so, so based on this, St. Thomas Moore does not have a chance at first seed because Burn Creek won both of the sets that they played today. So they will be getting first seed. Correct. And that means Burn Creek will be playing McRoberts. And uh, whoever will play Burnett is either uh, the winner. Wait, the winner, yes, the winner of this match. So it will be St. Thomas Moore versus 
ideal mini. And the winner, we will be facing the winner representing Division C. Yeah. Burnett, uh, if ideal mini B wins, do you think you're ready for that? Like, ideal mini B wins, that would be very surprising. Yeah. I, that would be very surprising, but I'm, I'm thinking this is most likely going to be St. Thomas Moore, but I'll be happy to see me them be, me being proved wrong. Like, I don't know any of much of these two schools. So it'll be very excited to see who pulls through. Yeah, like, I like seeing a good upset. But if St. Thomas More advances to second seed and plays against you, who do you like? Do you think that'll be a pretty tough challenge? Nah. Like, here's the thing, though. From uh, from what I've seen, I think there was there is a uh, Bowser. I'm trying to remember who the characters are, but there's a Bowser. There's a Pac-Man. Pac-Man. There's a Pokemon trainer, and uh, the last one was Falco. Falco. Okay. Fortunately, we all play all these characters. I, like I said, I played Bowser, Ages of Falco May. I played Pac-Man all the time as well. And it was, last character was a Pokemon trainer, which we don't have much experience to. But from I, what I think so, I think one of our players actually played a you know Eric Hamber tournaments a couple weeks ago. So that was this is gonna be a very exciting match. I think we'll be well prepared for this. But I don't want to make any predictions yet because anything could happen, you know. We're still, it, it, like, just because we know the matchup doesn't mean that we're gonna excel in these games. So we still gotta train hard, you know, prepare for this playoff games. Hopefully, we'll pull through and move on to semis. All right, that's what I like to hear. No, we got one more step to go.